Hi everyone. So I'm just about to tuck into a crisp sandwich. Salt and vinegar squares are my crisp of choice. And I've got some apple juice because this signifies uh, kind of my diet staples the last few weeks. So I thought this was an opportune time to tell you all that a couple of weeks ago I found out that I am pregnant. It's the first week that I've been actually able to say the words I'm pregnant and have it not feel really fucking weird. I found out on, I think it was the 3rd of January. Let's just double check that. No, excuse me, it was the 5th of January. I found out on the 5th and that was because my period was late and I am never late. Um, as soon as I came off the pill, my period came back pretty regularly. Um, and I started tracking my periods just because I knew that pregnancy was something that eventually we would want and I know that it helps if you've been tracking your period so you know your cycle. And for the first few days, couple of weeks, I felt really anxious, really scared, really worried. Because my initial reaction is, and still now I'm a bit like, I'm not old enough for this, I'm, I'm not grown up enough to do this. You feel like you're prepared, you're in a, you know, we're in a relationship we have been for years we're adults but I don't know what it is as soon as I found out I just went back to like a 14 year old girl of like oh my god what am I gonna tell my mum I'm not growing up enough I can't be a mum um so really I was just very very overwhelmed and anxious so it took a, a few days for me to really process what happened it was quite a shock and it's such a huge huge thing it's life-changing and so for a the first couple of weeks that's all I could focus on was how life-changing it was and it was really scary. I then started to talk to people about it, that made me feel better. I, I'm not really sure what I'm trying to say, I don't want this to be too like all over the place but I decided I do want to document this in some way. Whether I, at first I was like I don't think I'll put it onto YouTube but I definitely wanted to document this in some kind of video form just because it's such a huge thing, you're only pregnant for the first time once. But I did want to document my first trimester to an extent because when I first found out I did start to watch uh, videos of people's first few weeks but again maybe because I wasn't in a great headspace that just frightened me watching them because everyone was just saying how awful they felt, um, how excited they were and I didn't feel excited, I felt worried. Um, the thought of telling like my mum I cried when I told her because I felt so just like, oh God, what am I doing? I can't do this. And you you feel quite bad when you feel like that because it's such a happy thing. And now, you know, I've, you know, I know I've kind of accepted the shock's kind of sunk in. Um, and I am happy to tell people, but at first when you're trying to get your head around it, it's very daunting and you just feel awful thinking the thought of telling someone makes me want to burst into tears. All these things going around in my head. So... That also then helped me to make the decision that I do want to document this, but I'm probably going to do it uh, like with hindsight. So I'll check in every now and again and just let you know um, how I've been feeling. But in terms of if I am sick or I'm not feeling great, I'm not going to vlog whilst I feel like that. I wouldn't want to vlog whilst I feel like that if I was just ill anyway. And I just think it didn't help me seeing <laughs> people at their worst at the very beginning because all you hear is doom and gloom. I decided to wait a few weeks before I even started to talk about it. So I think I'm about seven weeks. I am waiting for my first midwife appointment. I went, I booked the doctors because the NHS says you need to book a doctor's appointment. But that was a waste of time. And I felt quite bad about taking that appointment because in my area, you'd have to self-refer. So I haven't had any kind of appointment or checkups or anything, but I have been tracking, tracking. I've got an app called What to Expect, put in my, you know, cycle, um, situation and have an estimated due date which is about mid-September. In terms of symptoms, I mean I haven't felt the best but I have been able to get through it. I've definitely struggled on some days um, but I haven't been sick. The biggest thing for me is I have lost, I dipped and I have lost my appetite. There's nothing I really feel like eating. I don't have particular aversions to things. I don't feel really sick when I smell anything at the moment, but there's things that I don't want to have, so like coffee. I just know that I don't want that. And all I want is beige. 
I want chips, I want white toast, it's pretty much all I eat all day. Um, pasta if I want something hot. Maybe I've had soup, but essentially starchy carbs. And that's quite normal. It seems like everyone craves that at this point because you're, you know, building a baby, so you need that energy. So I don't feel particularly great nutrition-wise, <laughs> and I'm trying to eat fruit where I can and veg where I can, but I'm just sort of going with it because I know there's enough information out there that this is generally how it goes, and then hopefully you start to feel a bit better. I have felt nauseous, and as everyone describes it, a bit jet-lagged, a bit cloudy in my head. And the worst thing for me has been headaches. I haven't had them this week, but last week I had a couple of really, really bad ones and I haven't had headaches that bad for years. Um, like I, I almost felt fluey. I had an awful headache, really stiff neck and my body ached. And I don't know if that's because I did go to Istanbul last week. So I don't know if I was run down from traveling, but I definitely just haven't felt 100% like I've been a bit, like I've got a virus or something where I'm really run down. So yeah, I guess that's, all I have to update you on at this point. As I say, I think I'm just going to check in maybe week, every week. But as there are developments over the next few weeks, I'm going to check in. So hopefully I'll have a midwife appointment next week. Okay, my battery just ran out. I think I was saying I am waiting for a midwife appointment. And I will just be vlogging over the next few weeks until I make this big announcement. I kind of lost my train of thought now, but essentially not really much of an appetite, just want to eat beige, feeling a bit under the weather in general, nauseous here and there. I've had some days that are worse than others, but generally have been able to muddle through. I started taking pregnancy vitamins as soon as I found out. I just got the ones from Pregnacare, which are the multivitamins that you take during pregnancy and they have everything in them like folic acid, iron, magnesium, B, vitamin B, vitamin D, I, I mean everything that you need for pregnancy is in there. There was something else I was going to say to you but I can't really think what it was. So yeah this is the first update I suppose in my first trimester. Here we go. It's done. We're here. Hello everybody, um, so I thought I would do a little update today because I haven't checked in for a couple of weeks, for about nine weeks, and it says um, the baby's about the size of a green olive. So last time I checked in with you was about six, seven weeks I think, um, and I haven't checked in since then, so I just wanted to say hello because I've just been editing that back together. And there's just a couple of things I wanted to just clarify because I feel like watching that back, like my, I was a bit all over the place. Um, so I kind of just wanted to firstly clarify that how grateful I am to even be pregnant and I would hope that goes without saying but I just felt like I had to say it. I am so incredibly grateful to be pregnant and I'm in a bit of a better headspace now so I feel like I can, so I feel like I can articulate myself a bit better. But really what I kind of wanted to get across with that first update was just talking about the very very beginning like the first few weeks when you find out and because that can be quite an isolating and lonely time and very overwhelming and I felt very anxious because for the first couple of weeks that I found out all I could think was, oh my God, I'm pregnant. Every single second of the day, I was just like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. And it was really scary. And there's this big pressure to not tell anyone when you first find out. And I completely understand why, but I just wanted to encourage people that if they are in that, that bit um, and you do feel alone, but it is okay to tell people. Um, obviously, like mentally, <laughs> Hainsley, my partner, can only kind of understand so much when it comes to kind of hormones and the way you're feeling. Um, so he can only help to an extent. I just found that what really helped me is once I started talking about how I was feeling and started talking to people, it made me feel so much better and I felt so much lighter. And I'm quite lucky that I'm really close to my mum, I'm really close to my sister. I have a few people around me that have been pregnant that are so supportive, not judgmental, and really understood. And I feel like if you have those people around you, because really the reason they tell you not to tell anyone is because you know you, you wanna wait until it's safe, you wanna wait until, you know, okay, right, I'm, I'm actually pregnant, this is happening. But regardless of what was to go on, if the worst was to happen, I would still want those people around to support me because going through that by myself would be awful. 
So I just wanted to kind of reiterate identifying people that you want for support and that you feel like you can trust and that you feel better and don't feel bad about telling people basically at the beginning if you need to because the main thing is that you're okay and that you can deal with everything that's going on and the thoughts in your head and talking to people just really helps you start to make sense of things and just throughout the whole pregnancy always talk to people no feelings are the wrong feelings there's no need to feel ashamed about anything that you're feeling just talk so I kind of just wanted to really get that across anyway enough of the PSA I'm going to now talk about how I've been feeling and where we're at as I mentioned much better headspace I've been at my mum's and I told some family down here and Hainsey started telling some people and I just now feel really really excited but this at this point I still haven't had any sort of scan um, I've definitely missed a second period at this point but it is every now and again I'm like is something in there so yeah it's still it feels like this is going really slowly because I just want to have my scan but you have to wait so it's a little bit torturous this this point because you kind of want to get going with the pregnancy You've, I've accepted I'm pregnant I'm excited about it and I'm like oh yeah you know this is what we're doing now but I kind of still have to wait because I've not had my scan so that's a bit like oh I just want to I just want to have a scan and see it and then symptom wise uh, I mentioned how I think kind of the worst weeks for me were kind of week five to seven maybe even a little bit earlier than week five because thinking about it now I definitely just before I found out felt really sick at work um, sometimes had really awful waves of sickness and couldn't really eat and had no appetite and that was a bit of a struggle and then the week when I said that I had awful headaches I felt like I had flu I had to stay in bed for two days like that was awful too and generally people say around week five or six is when it's all systems go symptoms kick in I do still feel quite lucky because I never felt, the worst symptoms for me as I said were the headaches and my appetite. Sickness hasn't really been a problem, thank God. And really from about a week and a half ago, I've actually felt really normal, which has been amazing because I was very anxious about, because of the nature of my work, I'm always standing up, I'm always talking to people, I have to have energy, I can't just run off and be sick. <laughs> I was so nervous because I was like, I don't, I don't have time to feel bad. I have to I have to do hair I have to I have to work and it's not like when you feel ill you just know if you rest for two days then you'll feel better you don't know what's gonna happen day to day you've no idea how you're gonna feel every day and that for me that needs to, to plan and has a diary and know where I am every day it's really hard to think okay well I'll book an appointment on Friday and um, because you're worried that what if I wake up and I'm throwing up or I feel awful or I've got an awful headache so that gave me the most anxiety I think and so when I started feeling better for the first few days, I was like, oh my God, I don't want to jinx it. Um, but yeah, I've been feeling normal for about a week, week and a half, possibly two weeks now, which has been amazing. My appetite's kind of come back. I had hummus, cucumber and celery, like the first kind of fresh food that I've had in a really long time. And that was amazing. I just suddenly was like, I just want some fresh produce because I feel like all I'm eating is stodge. I have still wanted to eat fruit alongside the stodge, so that's been my saving grace, I suppose. Been really into juice. Appetite is, is better. I'm still very much into kind of bread and pasta and things like that. Not, but still not into coffee, not massively into tea. Um, it's just really juice, to be honest, that I, I want to drink. I, I had a bit of a sugar craving, like I bought sweets and I never buy sweets. No. Nothing that I'd say is an aversion, just still things that I just know that I don't feel like eating. But I don't have a metallic taste in my mouth, I don't... Nothing makes me think, oh my god, get that away from me. Actually, the only thing, funny enough, that does repulse me, and it always kind of did, but I wasn't that bothered, is cigarette smoke. Whenever I walk past it, I just, I don't even want to breathe. Because that does actually make me feel like, oh god, that's disgusting. But aside from that, nothing else has made me feel like, absolutely not get it away from me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw up. Food's a bit more enjoyable now, but for a few weeks I just didn't enjoy eating. I just knew that I had to eat. And that's still very much the case. If I don't eat, I start feeling sick and a bit like weak. <laughs> so I'm like, I have to eat. Tiredness, I haven't had in any kind of overwhelming capacity. I'm always pretty tired. So I'm a bit like, am I just really lazy? I went to the gym 
the other day you would have seen it on a vlog if you watched that vlog that's gone up and I was mentioning how all of a sudden in the afternoon I got really tired and I'm, I'm not sure if that's to do with pregnant or again if I'm just lazy but the tiredness I felt after going to the gym I haven't felt in a really long time so I wondered if perhaps that was a, a step too far going to the gym because usually I get kind of tired but I really felt like I could just go to bed I feel I don't feel like I look pregnant but I definitely feel like I've put on probably much more weight than I should have like my waist is definitely quite square um and yeah you can't really see but my stomach is definitely like hard and bloated all the time and by the end of the day because I've always kind of had a bit of a pregnant looking belly at the bottom <laughs> my stomach kind of goes out clothes are not really fitting I like my jeans aren't really fitting um which is a bit like oh god but I don't, hopefully I won't have to buy anything too new too soon. I wear quite loose clothes anyway, so I know I've got a lot of things that can see me through, but it's just trousers that I'm a bit worried about at the moment. But I still have a pair of jeans that do fit, so it's fine. And to be fair, I don't really mind going and buying a slightly bigger size jean, because at this point I think I could still wear them after pregnancy. But yeah, I'm not really thinking about maternity wear at the moment. Um, I've just bought a few kind of floaty dresses for work, but as I say, I always kind of wear that shape anyway. I think that's all the update that I've got for you today. So I will check in with you again very soon. Hello everybody. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't gonna do um, a pregnancy update probably till next week. I have my first midwife appointment. Today's Thursday, my f midwife appointment is Tuesday, so I was planning to do an update then. But I wanted to just dip in now and do an update, excuse my appearance, but it's because today is a day where I am struggling and I feel like, I said at the beginning of this vlog I think that I wasn't going to show days where I didn't feel great. I do feel like having started to edit this vlog back, it's one thing me sitting there saying like there's definitely been days that I've struggled. But overall I feel like, I, like especially my last update I was in a much better headspace but this morning has been a bit more difficult um i woke up i am actually kind of a bit better now because i just had some beans on toast i woke up this morning and i feel like i'm getting a bit i, I just feel a bit emotional today like this is i all morning i've kind of felt a bit like this i don't want to cry like updating you i think it, it's, it's obviously just hormonal isn't it but um and again I, i'm not being sick i don't have sickness in that way but today I really feel quite viral and it's really difficult to distinguish whether that's pregnancy or whether I'm just tired and ill but I think it might be pregnancy <laughs> but anyway I thought I would just talk through the days that I have struggled what they're like and I'm so so grateful that I am off today and part of me wonders if that's why I'm feeling bad because I know I'm off so I'm almost allowing myself to feel bad I was at work yesterday and I just had to get on with it. I don't know what the what the situation is, but I woke up this morning and had a really, really awful headache and have just felt sicky, uh, a bit fluey. My neck's been stiff again and really hurting. And so I've just spent most of the morning just lying on the sofa, really quite tired. I woke up at like two. Another thing, I don't know if this is like a thing that is because of pregnancy or if maybe it's just how I am at the moment but I'm not sleeping through the night so I wake up it's usually around kind of two in the morning I'll go to bed about 10 maybe half 10 and wake up about two like I laid awake for what seemed like hours went back to sleep woke up again I've had very broken sleep so that's not great but and you can see I'm burping a lot I just feel very like today still kind of feeling grateful because I know I'm not as bad as others others can can go through i'm not being sick five times a day um but definitely today i just don't feel great and it's just my head just feels so cloudy again it's like that kind of jet lagged feeling and i really feel like i don't want to do anything i don't have any motivation i just want to sit but then sometimes staying at home all day makes me feel worse so it's very gloomy today it's kind of brightening and brightening up now not as rainy so I might head out because that makes me feel a bit better to get some fresh air but yeah I just thought I'd give you an update on a day when I'm not feeling great 
um, I didn't want to have too many of these. Um, not to just show you like the easy bits of being pregnant, but I don't know, I guess I just didn't want to just be like moaning the whole vlog and like, oh, I feel so awful, do you know what I mean? But this is, this is the reality. Some days are good and some days are bad. But I'm grateful for them all. So, I <laughs> can't wait to have a scan. Just to make sure there's something in there. Because <laughs> once I have a scan, I feel like I'll be like, okay, cool. I feel like I'm kind of bubbling a little bit now. I don't know how useful this update's been. Um, hopefully it has been. But yes, um, I'm actually going to, to a daily vlog now. So if you see this vlog, um, I'm going to hopefully be a lot more perkier because I'm just going to have a word of myself and because I don't want to be like downbeat on camera and yeah there we go I'll speak to you soon hello everybody um I'm just coming at you with a little pregnancy update it's just a, a situation that keeps happening throughout the first trimester I'm finding um and I mentioned in this vlog that one of the worst symptoms I suppose for me and I don't mean worse as in I can't live my life but it as in just annoying is my appetite I went to Sainsbury's earlier today and bought some things that I thought I might feel like eating and I don't feel like eating any of them and I'm just looking on delivery now and I could literally order anything I wanted to eat at this point I live in a town that's got a wealth of options um, anything you want it's there you want pizza you want chicken you want Italian you want Mexican, you want Lebanese, like we've got it all. Just, I couldn't even tell you what I want to eat, but I know I'm hungry. I just know what I don't feel like eating and that is pretty much everything. It's really frustrating because food is just not enjoyable at the moment because every time you're hungry, you're like, oh, I've got to eat something and you just can't think what you want to eat. In fact, I can tell you one thing I would definitely eat and that's Nando's, but they don't deliver. And it's a bit too far for me to go and walk to by myself and go and sit in and just eat and also I just don't think I have the energy to go and do it and it's also Storm Dennis today um, in the UK so it's very windy and I don't really want to go out just at all I just don't want to leave my flat and so I just I think I'm going to order pizza but I don't even really know if I feel like that and every, just, it's just it's all the time <laughs> that this is happening I went into Sainsbury's the other day and to get some dinner and I just can't forward plan because I just have no idea what I'm going to feel like. The only thing I know I'm going to eat every day is white toast in the morning and some kind of sandwich at lunchtime or beans on toast. That's fine throughout the day. But when it comes to dinner time, I don't really feel like beans on toast. And yeah, I just couldn't. I mean, chips <laughs> is, is all I've been eating. But as I was saying, I went into Sainsbury's the other day and I was like, oh, like, I can't remember what I felt like, eat, what I thought I felt like eating, pizza or something, mm -hmm. grabbed whatever it was got to the checkout, was paying, my stuff was going through, I saw the person next to me put chicken goujons on the belt and all of a sudden I was like, that's what I want to eat, I don't feel like any of this anymore. So I paid for the stuff and then went back into Sainsbury's to go and get chicken goujons because that's what I wanted to eat. <laughs> and it's just like, it's just so, it's so annoying. <laughs> I, it literally, I don't know what I feel like eating until it's time to eat. So until it's dinner time, I couldn't even tell you what I even might feel like eating. All I know is it's probably carbs and it's probably stodgy, but even then I can't guarantee. Like that, that could be pasta, it could be chips, it could be a burger, but I don't know. It could be none of those things. <laughs> um, right, let's just turn these senders down. Hi everyone, quick update. Uh from Pregoville. I'm really annoyed at myself because not once throughout this vlog have I said my ego is Prego. So I'm gonna change that and say that now. Quick update because it was my first midwife appointment today. Nothing really, oh my God, is Sharon having a baby on EastEnders? Everything was fine. Uh, we did some blood tests. They did a urine test. And I realized for every midwife appointment going forward, I should make sure that I have a drink with me or haven't weed just before going because I couldn't really do a urine sample very successfully. I only had a very small amount. Is that TMI? Because so I just didn't need to go to the loo. Um, but I did one, it was fine, but note to self, don't wee before you have a midwife appointment because you're always gonna have to do a urine test. The blood tests were fine. Uh, I'm not really worried about needles or anything, so they're not really a problem for me. The midwife was really lovely. She was very, like, just really chilled and nice had to answer a questionnaire about my health. Uh, I'm apparently very low risk, which is great. 
and apparently not that common well not not that common but i said like oh isn't everyone as straightforward as me which i know is naive to think but she's like no definitely not had to ask me questions like any alcohol since i've known i was pregnant smoking drug use okay the old battery just died halfway through that so where was i yes no recreational drug use so that's always a plus when pregnant i think that concludes today's update about my midwife appointment that's all i had to say i did feel fine afterwards actually i feel really excited and it's nice now that the process has kind of got moving because i was mentioning before how you kind of feel a bit in limbo um in the first few weeks until you have these appointments and you're like okay now we're you know getting things moving then i've got my scan next week which i'm really really excited about so i just wanted to mark this momentous occasion because today i am wearing my pregnancy dress and my work trousers no longer fit me um, and I used to be able to wear my work trousers and tuck a jumper into them and still have room now I can't even tuck a t-shirt into them so I bought this dress from Zara a few weeks ago actually quite early on it was maybe like a week after I found out because I was thinking oh I'm gonna need definitely need some new clothes for work because I only wear trousers and trousers are pretty much a no-go from this day forward unless they're pajamas but i also bought it because i was like well you know depending on what happens like i would also wear this dress too um so yeah this is the first day that i'm wearing my pregnant dress and i got lots of compliments on it at work today i was very happy about so here we are this is it as i mentioned it's from zara um and it was like 30 pounds which i thought was very reasonable so i was okay to buy this um because it is just a dress it's not like maternity wear and i know that i'll definitely wear it even after should it need to house a bump it definitely can um so i think this will kind of see me through you can see it goes down a bit at the back and slightly up at the front and then you can undo this here so i look a little bit like a victorian school child oh my god the mirror is so dusty i've just noticed um yeah i think i'm just going to get loads more of these kind of things for work because they're just very easy just getting ready because we've got our first scan today I feel like my head's a bit flat and lacklustre because I actually don't feel that well. So I'm just um, sucking on a seether. So yeah, we're just getting everything ready. Don't really know what to expect. There's Daddy. <laughs> How are you feeling? So there we go. That's Dad. That's live from Dad. I don't really know how I'm feeling. Not really anything at the moment. It's like watching a preview. It's like watching a trailer <laughs> for a film. <laughs> Get a bit of sight for the trailer, but we'll wait till the film's out. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna get all my um, books, like not books, my notes and stuff I have to take with me. I need to drink some water because you have to wee at every appointment and it says for this one, make sure you arrive with a full bladder. So that's, that's a request. Um, and yeah, so I guess that's what we're doing. We're just gonna go and watch the trailer. Yeah, I'm expecting a good trailer to be fair. <laughs> expecting a good one. Yeah, I think we'll be banging. <laughs> Right, so we're back, back from the scan. There's Defo, a baby in there. Um, so we've got pictures. But I wasn't sure, I wasn't really gonna share the pictures on to people. So I feel like I just wanna keep them for now. But we have pictures. We've sent them to family. I thought I'd get really emotional when I was in the scan, but it's just a bit weird, really, to be looking at the screen and there's a little baby. What did Daddy think? Got a bit emotional. <clears throat> Daddy got a bit emotional, didn't um, he? It was a good trailer. <laughs> Can't wait for the film. It's what I've got to say. It was a good trailer. There's a lot more action than I thought there was going to be. Oh, it wouldn't stop moving. It's putting on a show for us. Um. So yeah, I thought they I thought they gave away a lot actually in the trailer. If I'm honest, <laughs> a bit disappointed about that. But yeah, <laughs> the film we don't will be great. we don't know what what make it is yet. He's not saying that. Yeah. Don't really want to know. He doesn't want to know. I might change my mind later. So I, I feel that it's my prerogative. Yeah. I don't know if you my will, because I feel like so. once, like now we've had the scan and like decompressed afterwards, I think at the time you might be like, tell me what it is, and then afterwards you'll be like, oh, actually, I wish I hadn't. Is that a technical that. term, decompressed? <laughs> that is something that people say, decompressed. I'm not saying they don't, I've just oh. never heard someone say that. <laughs> It sounds like I was inflated and then afterwards I went out and I sort of decompressed. Well, because you are a bit inflated because you're a bit like all height, like senses heightened. Yeah. And then you just sort of flatten out. Okay. Afterwards. Oh, it's one way to cut you from that angle. 
yeah, I didn't get emotional in it. And then we were looking at the pictures. And one of them got daddy's little nose in it. It's like a profile of the head. And it does look just like Hainsley from the side. Yeah. So when I was like, oh, that's definitely daddy's nose. And I felt a bit like, Bleh! I didn't have to pee in a pot. I don't know why they would need you to be there with a full bladder. But it definitely requested that, but I didn't have to pee. And then you're going in and having this ultrasound and they're pressing the thing basically on your bladder. And it's a bit like, do you have to do that? Um, but yeah, everything looked good. And as we say, the little bean was just swimming around. Wouldn't, wouldn't keep still, really, would it? And it's weird that I can't feel it at all. Um, so yeah, it's weird to be looking at the screen thinking that's happening in there. But I can't feel it. So... There we go. We're all decompressed. <laughs> Hello everyone. So, um, do excuse uh, my appearance. I have got quite a bad cold um, and I have done for the last four days. Um, I've not been very well. I think it's coming out now. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a red nose. So, I just wanted to say that is the end of my pregnancy vlog. I can't quite believe I'm going to be putting this up tomorrow. I feel very nervous about doing that. And I don't know why. I wanted to just say a bit more about the scan because I feel like both Hainsey and I were just a bit like, well, actually, no, Hainsey was cool, calm, and collected as always, but I was just a bit like wired afterwards because um, it was just really surreal. Yeah, getting to see a baby on screen just moving around the way it was was crazy. And, um, I just can't stop looking at the pictures and it's amazing. So watching this vlog back and how I changed like throughout the last three months in terms of like my headspace and everything um, has just been really interesting. So I think, yeah, I'm glad that I did this and I hope that you guys are excited. I completely understand that some of you will not, are just not at this point in your life and will not care um, and that's completely fine. I don't know how much of a focus this will be on my channel obviously this is a huge thing in my life so it will come into it now and and again um but i i plan to just continue vlogging my life as i do so in terms of like baby and pregnancy content i don't anticipate doing anything specific um i'm just going to take you along with me for the ride as i have done for the last few years so i hope that is okay i don't really know what else to say other than thank you for getting this far <laughs> i know that it's been a really long vlog and hopefully it's been beneficial to some of you perhaps but yes i will work on getting better getting rid of this cold so that the next time i see you um i'm all uh, a lot less snotty thank you guys so much for watching and yeah subscribe to see more of this journey i suppose and um yeah i'll see you on the next one